Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon how-to guide here on the channel. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris. And in today's episode, we're going to be looking at a brand new training facility that has just become available with the release of the Isle of Armor expansion pass. So without further ado, let's hop into this one today. Now with the release of the Isle of Armor, we've been exploring now like crazy over the last 24 hours, just discovering new Pokemon, new additions to the game and new facilities. But one of the best facilities that I personally feel that we now have available is the ability to completely remove EVs from any trained Pokemon. Now previously what we've had to do in Sword and Shield is go and collect EV reducing berries, which is a little bit tedious and uh, definitely a huge grind grind and something that you could probably do without having to waste time on especially when you're retraining your pokemon you've tested it and you want to just get rid of the evs that you've got and give it a new ev spread now this can be time consuming but as i say with the release of the isle of armor we do have a brand new facility there is an npc character on one of the islands off of the shore of the isle of armor where you can go visit her and for a price of armorite ores she will completely remove all the evs that have been given to that one Pokemon. So let's have a look in game and see where we can find it. So to start this guide, we're gonna begin at the Dojo, which is one of the main facilities within the Isle of Armor. I'm sure you guys will know where this is. It is at the very beginning of the DLC game. So once you're here, what you wanna do is head across this bridge directly in front of the Dojo and head towards the ocean, taking a left as you come down here. Now, what you wanna be doing is heading out towards the island with the three trees in the distance and there'll be a tiny little island just in front of that as you can see we are approaching it now and as you approach there will be an npc character that you can see on your screen right now and this is the lady who will be able to reduce the ev training on your pokemon so what you want to do is grab any say pokemon for this example we're going to use our excadrill you can see here that it has been maximized in its attack and speed evs you can tell by the the twinkly stars on the status screen of this pokemon so what we're going to do is just talk to this npc character here when you touch clear clean sand it can help cleanse your memories of the toil you've been through if you want to clear away a pokemon's evs etc you can give me 10 pieces of armorite ore and i will do that basically that's the gist of what she is saying so we go in we select that excadrill we've just seen it is maximized in attack and speed evs we'll give her the 10 armorite ores and there you can see excadrill's training has been completely cleared now if we just go into our party and we go and check our excadrill that we've just cleared you can go back over to the stat screen check and yeah it's got no evs at all so this is a huge time saver for us as competitive trainers just casual trainers and you know it means that you're not having to either farm for those ev reducing berries or even worse there's been times when myself i've not had enough of them so i've had to breed a completely new pokemon because it's a lot easier to give the pokemon evs than actually take them away so this facility now is a huge game changer makes things so much easier for training up pokemon and customizing them going forward so i hope you found this very quick guide very useful um i'm gonna wrap it up there i don't think there's very much else to add to this guide but um hopefully this saves you guys a lot of time in future and at least now you'll be able to find this ev remover in the isle of armor and make use of it so thank you so much for tuning in to the episode if you have found it useful please drop a like onto the video if you're new to the channel as well make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss any of these guides that we'll be doing and covering on the isle of armor as well as our pokemon news competitive play and all sorts of other content that we do here on the channel thank you so much for tuning in guys take care of yourselves have an awesome day and i will see you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye